my channel. Today for you, I have a little bit of a special video. Well, special for me because this is the first time that I've done this. Now, um, as I said previously, this channel is new for me. I have my main channel, Connor's Craft Corner, where you know I focus on like mom lifestyle, cleaning, crafts, things like that. But I've developed this growing passion for plants and so I wanted to create a separate space where I could just indulge in that, talk about it, interact with other people, all of that. Sidebar, if you hear anything in the background, that is my daughter. She is playing with her dad. So, yes, yeah, so I wanted to create a space just where everything could just be fun, exciting, and also just to still learn. I'm, you know, by no means an expert, so I am still learning. Anyhow, let's get right to it. So today, actually this started last night, I went to Walmart and there was a, um, cause I went to check out their plants. There was a plant, it was about a three foot snake plant in this big planter and there were other plants around it, but the other plants around it were pretty much just done. And then it had the snake plant. I battled back and forth of whether I wanted to get it. It was originally 40, marked down to 20. And I thought about, um, another person, another plant YouTuber that I watch, her name is, I believe, Simply A, or Simply Alicia, um, something like that. She's, she's really nice, very knowledgeable, and she was talking about how she rescues plants all the time. She buys all her plants on clearance, you know, <clears throat> to save, and also, you know, she likes the whole, like, bringing them back to life, nursing them back to health, all of that. So I was thinking, you know, maybe I should, you know, do like she says, and ask, if they will mark them down so anyway long story short i didn't ask and i went home and i regretted it and i wanted it so flash forward to today i go back and it was gone but another plant that i had my eye on was there and that will bring me to the first one i'm going to show you yeah it is whew, this big guy right here let's move it back if you can see see that he is pretty big this is a fiddle leaf uh, ficus. Am I saying that right? Yes. The tag says, tag says ficus liriata. And so, um, I saw him. He has some, some little boo-boos on his leaves and needs a good washing. But, this leaf right here, as you can see, it has a tear. Oh, it's heavy. Let me put that down. So, it has its issues but overall as you can see it's very gorgeous and it is was originally marked 17 dollars now this wasn't clearance at all the one i saw yesterday that i did not get was already clearance and so hold on guys i'll be right back okay i'm back so as i was saying um the plant that i was going to get but i left was originally 40 marked down to 20. this one was originally 17 it was not marked down at all but as i showed you um it has like this leaf right here is ripped and then one of the leaves at the bottom has like some a little bit of browning on it and then i have to wash the leaves so they have like some dirt on them you know basically stuff like that so i figure you know i'm just going to give it a try so i went to um, the outside portion there was a worker out there and I asked him like you know hey um how how do you guys mark the plants down like how does that work how do you mark them down for damage he gave me this whole spiel about how they have a lady she comes in once a day to uh what word did he use to assess the condition and health of the plants and then based on her assessment that's when they mark them down he told me to check back daily because you know there could be more stuff around daily okay fine i'm like oh so you know you don't like actively look like on the spot like if i showed you something he's like oh no no no, we don't do that okay fine so i go inside i'm debating you know do i want it do i want it so then there was another employee the one who's at the cash register and i remember seeing her there last night and she was very friendly when i went in and um looked at the plant that i didn't end up getting so anyway i go over to her and i said hey how often do you guys mark down the plants just like that she said whenever we have time so I'm like, um, okay, if I show you some plants, she's like, yeah, let me look. She's like, I'll scan them for you, see if it'll let me mark them down. 
She tried to scan them, like the um, receipt thing wasn't working. Excuse me if I'm sweating, guys, I'm hot. So the receipt thing wasn't working, and she kept, she was going. While she was doing this, the guy came in from outside. So now he's looking, because I guess he figured, okay, am I getting her to do it when I just asked him? Whatever. I didn't ask her anything except the same thing I asked him. She gave me a different response. Long story short, she couldn't get the machine to work. She was like, let me just see if it'll let me override it. So she ended up giving me 50% off, which brought this um, $17 plant down to $8.40. So I was very excited about this. It's a nice big full plant. There are actually one, two, three. There are actually four stems in here. What I'm going to do when I repot it, I'm going to let it acclimate for a little bit. But what I'm going to do when I repot it is split it. So I'm going to put two in one, two in the other one. So I'll have the two and I'm going to flank them in my front room next to my large window. So I was very excited about this. This is one of the plants that was definitely on my list once I started collecting. So put that down. Now next, this plant I got at the same place they're in the same situation so I also got it for 50 off and it's funny because when I asked her I was asking for the fiddle leaf I wasn't asking for this one this is a croton and the reason I got this one is because a few weeks ago my husband bought me a really nice big huge colorful croton and through a long list of trial and error I massacred it he is gone his name was Zeus so we have Zeus Jr. so I got this one because it looks like a mini version of the one that my husband had given me uh, that I destroyed. So this was originally my $5. She took half off. So I got it for $2, making the purchase of these, the fiddle leaf and this croton, $11. So I was pumped about that. I was very excited. And now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if this was like this. This leaf is broken. I don't know if it was like that already or if that happened in the car. But either way, I still think this one is in really good shape. I'll probably take that leaf off and then there's one other like little crunchy one but other than that i thought that was really really cute so we have that and it has the one my husband got me had more of this color all over like the reds and yellows and oranges and greens it was so cute and so i got that and it even has a little baby up top so i think he's still pretty healthy and what's so funny put that one down What's so funny too is after we went there, the next store we went to was Lowe's where I pretty much did the same thing. But I was um, telling my husband they had a huge display of the Crotons and I was like, Zeus is following me because my husband was making fun like, oh, you killed Zeus, you killed Zeus. So anyhow, so now we went to Lowe's. I looked around, looked around. They didn't really have anything in their set clearance section, but I did find something and I figured, well, I'm going to ask here too. Excuse me, hot. <laughs> I said, I'm going to ask here, too, and see what they say. I, maybe it was the hot weather today. Today was very warm. It was almost like probably 80 degrees here or something. And I'm, that's the warmest it's been for us so far. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. So, I went, looked through the plants, um, and I found this guy. This is a, I always say it wrong, arrowhead plant. But, specifically, it says, syngonium, that's the word. This one says it's a pink illusion arrowhead. I don't see any pink anywhere, so I don't know. Maybe that'll come over time. This looks like the one I already have, which I thought was the, I think it's called the butterfly arrowhead, which has the dark green around the sides. Now this too, for me, of all the plants I found at Lowe's, this is new because none of the plants I found before actually had a name. Like this one says, hi there. Friends call me pink illusion arrowhead plant. My full name is Syngonium potophyllum probably not saying that right i enjoy low light i'm from south america so they're trying to name them now because a lot of plants the plants the first two plants i originally started off with which i still have them they're not very big they haven't grown much they didn't have it just said foliage on them my husband um, brought me those originally too so it just said foliage um so yeah i came i looked them up and found out that they're peperomia um i Trusica, <laughs> something like that. When I do my meet my plans video, I, I have all the proper names in my phone so I can attempt to say them properly, but they're definitely pepperonis. Anyway, this guy has, you can see right here, 
this one's gone this one this one is on the way out and there this little guy so this one was 598 originally so i figure let me just ask her and see what she says like you know all she can tell me is no i looked around it i didn't see any signs of like bugs or pests or whatever so i said hey um do you guys mark down the plants when they look like this she looked at it real quick she said yeah i'll do it and then she you know crunched some keys into the computer and i looked over and i got this guy for one dollar so i'm definitely happy about that i'm just gonna pull these little these little um four dead plant leaves off and then see it even has little babies that haven't unfurled yet so it still overall is a very healthy plant so i'm gonna do that so that one this one was one dollar and last but not least i guess you can't really call this one a rescue because i did pay full price for this one but this is one i've been wanting i've been looking for um i toyed with buying online buying it from like let go um from somebody in the area i was like let me just go and see if i can get one and so i got this lovely lady and this is the golden pothos and they have the um i don't i guess this is supposed to be like the moss pole or whatever you call it it's like covered in like straw but i think i'm gonna untie it because i want it to trail and so i don't really necessarily want it to be trained to grow up if that makes sense so i'll play with it it has these little ties in here i don't know if you can see that but it has little ties where they tied it to this and like i said i don't really want that this has like one leaf that's kind of on its way out at the bottom but overall it has a little bit of trailing right here that they let hang overall i'm very happy with this and this one was ten dollars like i said i didn't get any markdown on this but i'm okay with that because the one that i was gonna buy well there were two they're really big plants um off let go she wanted 25 for both of them i mean they were pretty big but i don't know i just didn't really want to pay that much and i kind of like the idea of buying it from the store i mean even though it wasn't a nursery like a small nursery i'm still excited to be like the first owner of it so this is the last one that i picked up all right everyone thank you for tuning in to my rescue plant haul video i had a lot of fun i definitely will pay more attention to the clearance plants and pretty much just not be afraid to ask because the least they the most they can say is no right so i'm definitely gonna keep an eye out for that overall to be honest the nursery and walmart it was just it wasn't anything too special it was pretty sparse the plants that were in there were pretty far gone most of them and they were just out there just soaking them with water soaking them with water and i'm just looking at thinking like that's not going to do anything like those are done but nonetheless i'm glad that i went in i'm happy with the new plant babies that i have i'm going to let them sit this is actually at night um i just got home not too long ago we had dinner and i wanted to film because tomorrow i want to you know wash the leaves off look at them and i want to get my fiddle leaf separated but i want to watch a couple more videos first just to make sure what i have in mind to do is right leave a comment down below if you have any experiences or suggestions with repotting the fiddle leaf like i said there are five of them in there or no four of them in there and i want to separate them and make two so thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video don't forget to subscribe and I will see you next time.